Hello. Today we are going to try out GPU mining on a Windows PC. The hardware used today is a specialized graphics mining card and a Ryzen 5 8500G. We are going to use the Unminable app, which is a very easy way of starting to learn the basics of crypto mining. Anybody with a PC or laptop can use this free app to start mining and don't have to learn anything about settings, programming, overclocking or other difficult steps and typing commands. All you need is a crypto wallet address and you're good to go. First, go to the website of Unminable and press the Get Started button. This will download the Unminable software and after it is installed, you can start using it right away because there is no need for an account, sign up or purchase. It's free to start, but only a small withdrawal fee is charged that will be taken from your coins balance to cover the cost of the transaction and to support the Unminable app. Once the installation is finished, open it and select your desired coin you want to mine. In this case, I will select Ethereum and must fill in my Ethereum wallet address. But if you have another wallet and another coin, then you can use whatever you want. Next, select graphics card GPU. And if your card has three or more, four or more, or at least six gigabytes VRAM, there are a number of different mining algorithm depending on the memory available on your card, so you might have to choose something else like ETC for mid-range graphics cards, but for this tutorial we will use CarPow. When your GPU has at least 6 gigabytes of memory, the best mining algorithm always changes over time depending on your hardware and changes in the crypto market and other things like electricity costs. There are a number of different custom settings available, and those can differ for each specific miner, and they all have a web page with all the settings, but for now we focus on only the setting for activating the dedicated mining card. If you have an integrated graphics card in your CPU or a second graphics card in your system, then it is important to only select one because integrated graphics is not recommended to use for mining. If you use integrated graphics, then usually the dedicated graphics card in the top PCIe slot has ID0, but you can also see this in Task Manager, because in this example with two completely different graphics cards, it is important to custom select the dedicated mining card and leave the other free for normal PC work. So custom select the GPUs on their index, but if you only have one, then you can also use the normal mode. But if you want to add more cards in the future, then go to the custom settings. Click save and restart. In the log files, you can see if it is working, but give it some time because it takes a while for the mining algorithm to inspect your hardware first. If your system completely freezes, try to stop it. Or if it doesn't start mining at all, the, the mining algorithm might not be compatible with your hardware. In the logs you will see when you got a job from the mining pool and at what difficulty. The shares are awarded for successful jobs completed and sometimes there will be shares rejected and that is usually because of bad. Internet, so make sure this number stays low as shares rejected, is wasted computing power and you might have to check your internet connection or change to a different mining algorithm. So shares accumulated is what is getting you paid. In a previous video, we did some CPU mining and the good thing about Unminable is that you can do both at the same time. You can run multiple instances of the Unminable app and have them working together. Just open the Unminable app again and click on stop if it has already started and switch to CPU to have both CPU and GPU mining running at the same time. This will also give an indication on how efficient both CPU and GPU mining is as you can directly see both hash rates. It will take some time to get the hash rates, but once both are running, you see the difference between them with the graphics card way ahead in the millions.
But that is not the whole story. Open this free app called HW Monitor and notice the difference between the power consumption between the CPU and dedicated GPU. The processor takes about 55 watts and the GPU is much more power hungry at about 200 watts. So that is also something to be aware of. HW Monitor can also come in handy with overclocking so you can monitor if the changes you made are effective or not. The CPU and GPU are on different mining algorithm so it is not exactly the same and also the CPU might be cheaper or more expensive than the GPU to begin with so it remains hard to compare but GPUs have the advantage of being more available on the second-hand market and you can connect more GPUs on a motherboard. Another important thing you have to fill in is the referral code. Without this code, you pay a 1% fee every time you make a withdrawal. But with a referral code, you only pay 0.75% in fees, so always fill in a referral code. The referral code is in the descriptions below. Open the app and click on the App Settings tab. Now paste or type M67R-WGFC for a 25% reduction of your fees in the referral code box. Leave your code in the comments, as I would also need a referral code so I can get a 25% discount. Thanks for watching everybody and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and amazing tips and tricks.